I want to uh, maybe stay on Davos for one more uh, maybe round before we move on. Uh, you have seen Davos from 2006 till after uh, the crash of 2008. And uh, just before we came here, we were uh, having a short chat, and you said uh, you addressed uh, depression <laughs> in the post-2008 uh, uh, period. And of course, you have seen the euphoria of the preceding years. Uh, euphoria to depression. Um, how, do, how, do, how do these mood swings happen? And uh, uh, how does one balance out uh, your one's views, as it were? I think one reason is a uh, lot of people have not strived for their success. They are successful by chance. That's why they're euphoric and depressed. If they had crafted their success, you would know the mechanics of success. It doesn't matter what's happening today, you know where you're going anyway. Nobody can take that away from you. So people who do not know the mechanics of what they're doing, the fundamentals of what they're doing, by chance because of situational help, somebody becomes successful, he is euphoric, he thinks he's hit… They're hitting a lottery, they're not successful. <laughs> hitting a lottery is not success, it's just chance. So because of that you see too much of these swings and anyway, as I was telling you, they asked me to handle this session called uh, Recession and Depression. <laughs> it was 2008, just then uh, recession had moved into the European and American market. All these billionaires were carrying long faces, so I am supposed to spread it a little bit <laughs> Spread a smile, please <laughs> So I said, recession is bad enough. Do you need depression on top of it? You always dreamed, you want to walk the beach, you want to swim, you want to go play golf. Okay, this is the time, less work, this is not the end of the world. And above all, the way we have structured our economic process in the planet is such that if we fail, we will be depressed. If we succeed, we will be damned. I said, I prefer that you're depressed. <laughs> We… because our economy is all about more, not about all. I think the business leaders, people who have reached a certain level of success, should shift their attention from more to all. All would naturally be inclus inclusiveness. More is taking, all is an embrace. Indeed. Um, moving on to uh, something that we see across India today, uh, the mood of negativity. In a way, it is a continuum of this depression that we are looking at. But this collective mood of negativity, um, how do you uh, look at it? And uh, how do you actually I think you meet this? only the people in the boardrooms <laughs> Right now, a lot of people, too many people, including the business leaders and uh, the media, everybody is constantly talking about India will become a superpower, which makes me very apprehensive. You don't have legs and you want to climb Mount Everest. It sounds really apprehensive to me because we're going to flounder with this kind of attitude. Everybody is talking about India becoming superpower. You need to understand this in this country right now for 1.2 billion people, you neither have the roads, nor the airports, nor the infrastructure, nor the homes, nor even enough trees or not enough rivers, not even even a piece of sky for 1.2 billion people. The only thing that we have is we have a population. We done well on that <laughs> We have a huge population. If you transform this population into a very competent, focused, inspired population, yes, we could be a superpower in a different way. Then you understand superpower in normal sense. Superpower means people have always thought military might and something else. But we will be a superpower because just about anywhere you go, already we see that, but in a much bigger way, every company on the planet could be led by an Indian. That is superpower. We're all over the place. Somebody was telling, see, this is Bharat. Mahabharat is elsewhere else <laughs> It's in a different place. So, I know there's one segment of people who are constantly morose about markets going down, markets going up and stuff. There's another level of people who are too… too uh, loose in their thought that they think we're going to become a superpower. 
we don't have the fundamentals. I don't have to tell this to you, you know better. Uh, we don't have the fundamentals to become any kind of superpower. It's just too much of nonsense. Our problem is we're too dramatic in our minds. We exaggerate our success, we exaggerate our failures. It doesn't matter, the crowd sees it that way, it's all right. But people in positions of responsibility and leadership have, should be able to see what is the reality. Not imagining things about being superpower, not imagining things about going into dumps, both are not true. We are at a threshold. We are sitting with a possibility, a huge possibility in front of us. But between possibility and reality, there is a distance. Do we have the necessary commitment, strength and focus to walk the distance? That's a big question. Is every one of us working towards creating an India which will have the necessary focus and commitment to walk the distance from possibility to reality? This is still a question mark. Which way we will go, we don't know. <laughs>